Now, like I was saying about football, you have three football teams in the school. You have your C team, your B team, or junior varsity, and then you have the varsity team, which is one we all got all the games for, right? Well, see, the junior varsity and the var the below that, whatever you call it, <laughs> the C team, I guess, or the B team, whatever, <laughs> or the D team, I don't know. <laughs> But I remember this from uh, junior high and high school. <laughs> you have three teams. Now, the lower teams, they play more in the afternoons or on the weekends. But they have a schedule, right? Now, if you want to be transgendered, compete against who? Other transgender people. Right, right. Whether it's a male or female you're competing against, you both feel the same about that area. Right? <laughs> The female wants to be more like a male. You want to be more like a female. You're both taking hormones to do so, and you're kind of might be even equally matched, right? I don't know, right? That's what they mean, that, right? <laughs> light competes against light. Opposites repel, right? No, opposites are right. Well, I'm sorry, but anyway, when you're competing for sportsmanship, Light competes against light, right? <laughs> male against the female. Female against the male don't really happen, right? For some reason when you're talking about sports, right? But the same feelings, right? And both the male and the female feel they were born the wrong gender, right? Do you understand, right? And that's what I mean, right? You're not using your head. You want them to fight about it, <laughs> When you fight about it, all you're doing is making war in the name of the God of the War, Mars or Satan, right? Whatever you want to call him, Set, right? Set <laughs> um, <laughs> E, right? Whatever, whatever. Well, the reason you're doing that is you're fighting for something. You don't even know what you're fighting about, right? You can't change what sperm got to the egg first, but you pretend you can, but okay. You can do that here, right? Good point, right? You can surgically modify your body into that of a male or a female, right? And that's what you're doing then, right? <laughs> now, what I'm also trying to say is a lot of people feel that way, so maybe it's not just a fad, right? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but whatever, I don't want to hurt you for feeling that way either. I, I want you to understand I care for your feelings, right? Like, if you feel like... Ellen, who was born Ellen, is now Elliot, right? <sighs> you want to be a boy, right? Because <laughs> you think you have more boys' features or whatever it is. Whoever was picking on you about it, and don't tell me nobody's picking on you about it either way. I know how it works. I was done the same way because they want me to be gay, right? <laughs> and you're hiding why you really want to do it, you know? And it's got to be someone close to you picking on you about it the whole time. Who you're arguing with about it. Either way, either way. And they won't give up on it, right? And you get fed up with it. Right? And then you, you know, get so mad with them. <laughs> you don't care anymore, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Because they are saying it like they know you want to do it, right? Right? <laughs> they know. They know. They know. Right? Well, the only way they can know is they kind of feel the same way themselves, right? And they're trying to project it onto you, right? And get you to do it first so they feel more comfortable when they do it, right? That's another thing about forgiveness, right? Right? Now, I keep telling you, here's the point. The crime of adultery involves two people, a woman and her husband. You can call her a woman. You can call her a wife. But it's the same crime, okay? <laughs> no matter who the man is, she committed adultery against. Right? Now, for Jesus to forgive her, instead of stoning her, which is why they brought her to him, dumbass, you got to read what they're talking about. When they're bringing up the subject matter, which is the wife was caught in the act of adultery, right? Of someone. Of someone. Even if you want to pretend it wasn't Jesus' wife, which is kind of odd, right? It don't fit with the story either, right? Well, 
it was morning and he was at the temple. Do you usually have sex with someone in the morning near someone's wife? No, you're committing adultery. Usually if you have sex, it's before evening in Israel, right? <laughs> Get that one, too. <laughs> if you got to relieve yourself, usually it's <laughs> before evening, right? <laughs> Sometime during the day. <laughs> if you're a man and you're by yourself. <laughs> And you want to get your semen on your skin or garment. <laughs> your naked skin or garment, by the way. <laughs> you also can be naked when you're doing it. <laughs> but whatever. Misinterpret all you want to misinterpret from a book that wasn't written to you 3,000 years ago. <laughs> that isn't written in modern English or modern language, but ancient Hebrew... <laughs> Kind of scatterbrained at that. <laughs> if you really read, if you really read some of the things he's saying, and you're not sure he's not putting stuttering into the language too, right? He doubles the D's a lot. He doubles the S's a lot. And uh, uh huh, S -s -s -s, not sh. He might could say sh easy, but I don't know, right? That's what we mean, right? But why would S become S H, right? But there is no S-H, right? I don't know. You would have to have S-H after each S-H, right? What is the H? Mm -hmm. What is the S, right? Is there no S's and H's together? I don't know. I don't know. You're not listening if there are. If there are. Now, mm -hmm. one of the things about Shah... <laughs> Okay, it was if most, uh, most Shah, mm -hmm. okay, with the H behind it, mm -hmm. that's still SH, right? If it's the double S, right? See, most Shah, mm -hmm. probably how you really say it in the Hebrew. I don't know. You understand? <laughs> But you're saying Moses or Moshe, Moshe. not most Sean. <laughs> you, you hear the slight difference, right? Right. And this is of a man who stutters, right? Uh -huh. Right, right. You see what I mean? <laughs> right. So how would he say it? <laughs> If he's also starting your alphabet, right, or your language in written form, in written form. Mm -hmm. And he also doubles certain letters like D or PH or P, right? Mm hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. But there is sometimes the H after a double letter, right? Now, Ra. Mm hmm. Sara, mm hmm. Is again S R H, right? Mm hmm. But, mm hmm. In the English, we'll say Sara, mm hmm. Two, right? But the emphasis, okay, is Sar without the A ah or the H, right? With the H, it becomes her, mm hmm. Without the H, it's him, right? And it's not ooh or e, which could mean he or she as well. Mm hmm. Is it? Uh huh. <laughs> Why sar ooh or sar e, right? <laughs> or suri, right? I don't know. Um. <laughs> Mm hmm Why not? Why not? <laughs> right. You don't know. You don't know. You're guessing. And you're changing the interpretation of certain words because it's confusing, right? Especially shad, right? Or S-H-D, right? Or S-S-D, whichever it is, right? I don't know either. I don't know either. <laughs> so sad, I guess. <laughs> That's how you would really say it. 
If you're a stutter, if you're a stutter. <laughs> But so sad is also used of Leviathan, who draws out the so sad to nurse its young. Right. Mm -hmm. And again, mm -hmm. Now both the kings and queens shall nurse your young again, according to other passages in Isaiah. Mm -hmm. But here he's talking about kings with breasts who will nurse and give you milk, right? And that has to be talking about true hermaphrodites, which not a lot of people can handle that, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm eating, right? But they're real, but they're real. You either got to see them, though, on a porno or medically look them up at a hospital, right? The only two places you can find out about them that they're real, right? Is porn. And if that's the only thing you let them do, well, that makes them stuck in that lifestyle, right? Two, have a little compassion and acknowledge them as a gender, too, right? And then you got T... Children, transgendered, right? And you can put T if you want to do that on your license, right? You're not male or female, right? You're trans, right? So put T on your license. Durr. Is that so complicated? No. No. <laughs> if you're T, be happy about it. <laughs> if you're M or F, be happy about it. If you're fine with living as whoever you want to live as, right, while you're alive, right, and that's how you want to live, live that way, right, but don't invoke harm on me, because I'm reading to a religion that tells me that's wrong, right, either, either. see, something's telling me not to do that, <laughs> ever, no matter what happens, right, no matter what they say, you can't do that, right, to me, to me, <laughs> but something's telling you it's okay, you can do that, <laughs> And you can do that. So I can't disagree with that voice either in your head, right? But my voice in my head is telling me I can't do that. That's a sin, right? You understand? That's wrong for me, right? But it's not wrong for you, right? That's called communicating across religious lines as well. So where I'm hearing what you're hearing and you can hear what I hear, right? And yet we both go our own way. Like that song by... Fleetwood Mac. You can go your own way. Go your own way. And we all can. I mean, all can. That's the thing. That's an educational song about people who are in a band having difficulties in the band and wanting to break up. Well, it makes sense. Well, then go your own way, right? We can all go our own way, right? But, you no, know, we're having more success together, too, than we are apart. Probably ever will, ever will. <laughs> but whatever, but whatever. That's life, that's life, too. Mm -hmm. Now, only thing you have a problem with, okay, mm -hmm, is men and women and people of this age want to bully you into being gay or straight or bi or trans or whatever, right? And that ain't your business, right? Okay, unless, again, I'm coming out, <laughs> which I'm not, or someone's out, which, again, I don't know, I don't know. <sighs> or telling you they're gay, right, which means they want to date men, right, and not after women <laughs> while around you, right? But, Think they're striking out or something, too, right? But still trying to be with women, right? Not men at all. Being around men don't mean you want sex with men, right? Even if you're humping the bed. 
that has nothing to do with the person I'm around. No, no. It's called an involuntary <laughs> sex drive called a wet dream. <laughs> and it don't matter who's around you. And it don't matter who's around you. <laughs> Uh-oh, they're having backlash with the baby theme. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cause uh anyone can name some anyone they want to name them, right? That's what I was taught. <laughs> right. And Lily Bit is from <laughs> Little Bit, right? From uh Little House on the Prairie anyway. <laughs> Well, where do you think Megan got the idea from herself? <laughs> Little House on the Prairie? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but Michael Landa would call her Little Bit because her name was Laura Ingalls Wild or whatever. And, uh, Ingalls, I think. Uh, I guess. Uh, was her middle name Elizabeth? <laughs> Laura Elizabeth Wilder or whatever? I mean, Eagles? Eagles. I don't really know. I know. <laughs> but I have heard that on the show, right? A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> Why do you call Melissa? Mm -hmm. They played the character, right? But whatever, but whatever. Just suggestions. All you can do, though, is suggest things. You can't change someone's overall negative behavior towards you, even if you don't know what they're doing. And, uh, and they're trying to bite you out. Mm -hmm. And you're trying to bite me out, and you're not succeeding because you're the one doing something wrong, not me. And, uh, You're a bit stubborn about it, aren't you? Aren't you? You want to pretend it's me. <laughs> but if you're doing more wrong than I am, Jesus, can, God can still save me, right? By grace, right? I'm not a perfect person unlike you, I guess, right? That needed, not needed. And I'm just trying to find a girlfriend like always, like always. I don't have what I want, though, either. It's a normal relationship between the male and female. If you want an abnormal one, you're the one going against the normal, right? Which is male and female. Mm -hmm. Now, I guess one day if you destroy all the information of the past, right? Like Paul talks about. Mm -hmm. And make it to where it seems everybody's gay, right? No one will know the difference, huh? Right. I know what you mean. But to do that, you got to eliminate all forms of male and female dating, right? You know what that means. No more movies, no more TV shows, no more this, no more that, right? Where the male and female are a couple, only female and female and male and male can be a couple, right? And some of going to see through that one day too, right? Why? If you can have sex with the same sex, you can always have sex with the opposite sex too, right? And you're just using that as an excuse to do something for your own reasons, right? Which you can't, right? You can. Forgiving you for it doesn't excuse that if you're doing it in a wrong reason or for a wrong reason, that it's wrong, right? It is. It is. But... If you're going to do it anyway, you're going to do it anyway. Nothing I can say, all right? Bye.